The negotiations on, on, on debt restructuring currently has come to a, a bit of a stalemate uh, in, in the sense that uh, the proposal that was put forward uh, by Sri Lanka has been rejected uh, and there is no consensus as of yet. Uh, the initial understanding was that we might have an agreement by the end of June. Do you think that is possible now? No, the, the latest information is now government has withdrawn from the discussions because they couldn't agree to what these uh, bondholders were asking. Mm. Uh, the discussion basically came to a point where uh, what they were asking, the government was not willing to give. Eventually, since we so desperately need this debt restructuring, mm. uh, something will be agreed upon. Mm. I don't know at which point it will happen, but something will be agreed. But I think the bigger issue is not what is going to be the final outcome of this discussion. Mm. The bigger issue is how we are going to pay back these debts eventually. Mm. Because all we are going to get is some kind of moratorium. Mm. And of course, some, some, some kind of haircut. But they are going to catch up by increasing uh, uh, interest rates for the balance, new, new uh, bonds that are going to be issued. Eventually, the future generations, the future governments have to pay back. Hmm. pay with interest. So question is what do we do now to develop our economy and make it stronger so that we are in a position to pay those and that is something that nobody is talking about. We are completely involved in this discussion of debt restructuring without talking about how we are going to pay back the debts. We have wasted two years hmm. now on this. Who is talking about the contracting economy? Hmm. Who is talking about falling uh, uh, imports, exports not growing? Mm. Uh, who is talking about the people leaving the country, who is not talking about investments not coming. Mm. I mean, there are so many things that we need to focus on there at this stage. We are not talking about those essential things.